I'll buy cake. Yes. Uh. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Good evening. My name is Luke Lashley, and the name of my business is Lashley's Exotic Wine. As you can see, this wine is made since 2009. It's called Strawberry Wine. You can't get this wine nowhere else. The exotic flavor. <coughs> Could only be taste from at Lashley's exotic wine. Mm -hmm. Now, since, 2000, since 1998, I started making wine. I learned from my grandmother from a tender age of 12. From then, I just graduated and increased while I developed and fine tune my exotic taste of the flavors. Right? Now, I would have some wine tasting samples for you in a while where you all can get a taste and sample what Lashley's Exotic Wine have to offer. Here I also have some flyers, so you can feel free to take one and pass it around. <laughs> now, I have a wine variety that only should be it comes in mango wine, apple wine, grape wine, and etc. Wine? Yes, all the wine are from Trinidad and Tobago. Soon enough, I will be doing some exporting, whereas I want to put my lastly exotic wine on the market of Trinidad and Tobago and be able to represent my wine in any part of the world that my wine go to, goes to. Now, how many persons here drink wine? And by the way, one moment. <laughs> Since this was independence of China and Tobago celebrating our 50th anniversary, I have a special custom-made logo design, which signifies the national colors of China and Tobago, red, white, and black. You can feel free and pass it around to the class. I noticed that the trademark features two uh, palm trees crossing, and at the base it looks like a skirt, like a belly skirt on it. Okay, well, actually, the label, which you see here in the coconut tree, it signifies the, the Caribbean feel of it, right? The national class you see below, it signifies the, the shells. Each beach, you must find a position. Right? Oh. And the, the land you see in, by the base here is where the coconut tree rests on the land of the ocean, you know? Okay. Trimbago wine of the Caribbean. Okay, <laughs> wine. Okay, the strawberry wine. Um, there's a particular lady sells strawberry more down to the north coast where it's kind of cool. Yes, planted right here in China and today. Okay, that's right. I think it's the very local. Now, how many people drink wine here? Yeah. But the strawberry wine tastes just as good. Very true. No, she's not trying to tell back to you, but once you are dealing with something Caribbean, yes. and then to hear strawberry, you suddenly find yourself wondering how authentic the thing is. And I know that with wine, you have gone through a great deal of effort to label, to come up with the right trademark, to find the right bottle, just the right bottle alone, and the bottle in, far less the bottle. Then the bottle in of the product, including the, the, the cork. If you put cork on top, if you put if it's, it's a long simple long screw long. cap, um, tampering, you have to think of all these issues. So um, I think that she's asking in that regard because it's Trinidadian. Yeah. You want to feel that it's something Trinidadian. Yes. Yeah. Um, so you are, um, 
team will right now the eye possess yeah. item moment and be in soul on the blue shells soon before it goes to export. Well first you have to make sure your business is registered um, and legal affairs in Port of Spain. Then you have to go through the food and drugs procedures. <laughs> then you need to have a barcode which will um, signify what type of wine you have or what is the cost of that seller. I was telling him wine is such a competitive market worldwide mm -hmm. and uh, you want to do a number of things that set you apart. Mm -hmm. um, check on YouTube and, and look at ads, um, little shorts that talk about wine, um, wine, no, wine sales mm -hmm. and wine um, conferences and whatnot. Because, yeah, there are lots of, li there are labels. I find in the last couple of years, the labels for a lot of wine are just gorgeous. And then the bottles, I like your bottle. I like your bottle. I think I prefer your white label as opposed to your black label because your white label is getting more expensive. Actually, this is the seal. The seal. This is the cork. Ah, you see. I like the seal. I like the seal a lot. Actually, I even, this could be my, like, I have a sixth label, which mm. will be the final label, which I'll be okay. fine tuning it for international standards. This, you have to change. Of course. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's a flyer. But that is a You want wait. You want flyers like that? No. You want to have a Papa. Yes. That was Apple and Gova. One day. But that was a big problem. Yeah, it was a different matter. Who calls for this? It was a different matter. Why? Because it's shaking up the shake? Yeah. Why is that? Look, what is the price of the number? 120. <laughs> but half like from 60, yes, 60 dollars to 100. I'm going to say this. Money is a body. I just did it. I just did it. You're distracting. What is it? You talk about it. What is it? What? It's not in the media. Come, 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 come. Yeah, this is the difference of the labels from since um, 1998 oh. till present time. Okay. Homemade uh, <laughs> mango wine. Okay, keep it up, everyone. <laughs> so you realize these are too close? Yes. Labels. Whole lot of itself, you know. Whole, uh, there are people in, in who have products on the market now in grocery that don't have good labeling. <laughs> Look, it, it, it never goes on for support the cause. I buy a bottle for me. Support the cause. Look, I buy a bottle for me. 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 I was surprised. I wasn't sure. I was. I, I felt I felt that it, my first my first thought was yeah I'm getting the strawberry but what I like about it is that you know how with these fruity wines sometimes you get like a layer of taste and then by the time you begin to enjoy it you get this other kind of alcohol kind of thing. and his is kind of rounded you they it's smooth. Yeah. I have this and I I have had, because that's what made me stop. Remember at one point? Yes. Because remember at one point, you people were into this wine in a big way in Trinidad. And I have had, to me, I have had every kind. I've had pumps. I've had, um, I've not had mine. I've had Pomerac. Look, how many flavors do you have? <laughs> <laughs> Look, they're all drinking. Look, what? 
Are you trying to fine tune? So you want to watch the This has a punch. Look, question. What's your most age one? Okay. Look. Um, yeah. I know I it's not Five finger. I know you know last one. I know since thousand. You know it's going to be Stop now. The most age one is which one? Yes, go ahead. I think that your wine has a distinctive taste to it. I I have had um, a couple local wines over the years, and um, it's been a long time since I've had a fruit wine. And uh, I think you you're onto something. You just need to continue to to persevere. It's a hard road. There are lots of products out there. You need to push the unique. Caribbean tree mm. nature of your product. Thank you. And I will yes. take that into consideration. Yeah. I'm here to take wine.